Welcome everyone. Today, I will walk you through the process of creating and authoring contracts with ease. Whether you are looking to draft a master services agreement, non-disclosure agreement, or any other type of contract, this video will guide you through the creating and authoring a contract process. To create a new contract, first, select the Contracts tab at the top. Then, click on New Contract at the top right corner. I am choosing a Master Service Agreement contract type. You can choose your desired contract type from the window and click Continue. You will then be directed to the new contract form. Fill in the field details like Contract Title. This is the name or title of the contract. Description. A brief overview of the contract's purpose, scope, and any other relevant information that provides a quick understanding of what the contract entails. Request a name. The name of the requester who had asked you to create this contract. Request a department. The department within your organisation to which the requester belongs to. Counterparty name. The name of the other party you are entering into agreement with. Counterparty primary contact. The main contact person for the counterparty with whom you communicate regarding the contract. Contract term. Choose whether your contract is for a definite period or is it indefinite until either of the parties decides to end it. Contract effective. Date. When does this contract kick off? You can set a specific date or make it effective as soon as everyone signs the contract. That is the on execution option. If you select on execution as the contract effective date, it means that the contract will become effective immediately upon signing. In this case, you will not have the option to select a specific end date. Contract end date. Does your contract have a set duration for expiration or does it end upon meeting specific conditions upon an event or fulfilling an order or service? Termination notice period. The minimum number of days before the contract's expiration to terminate the contract. Renewal details. What happens when the contract reaches its end date? Renewal types manual. Will it renew manually? This means that if the contract needs renewal, the contract owner should initiate the renewal process. Notice period before expiration. This is the minimum number of days prior to the expiration date that the counterparty must notify to proceed with renewal. Send expiration reminder. The days before the expiration date, the reminder has to be sent to plan your manual renewal. Evergreen. The contract automatically renews for a predetermined period continuously unless terminated by either party. Renewal. Term. The new term period to take into account when the automatic renewal is done. Non-renewal notice period. The number of days within which the counterparty should inform to stop the automatic renewal by terminating the contract. Financial details. Contracts involving buying or selling goods or services necessitate financial details, such as contract value and payment terms, while agreements like confidentiality or non-compete contracts typically do not require explicit financial information. You can fill in the financial details based on the nature of the contract. After filling out the new contract form, click Save and Continue. Upon saving, the system will direct you to the Contract Details page, where you can view your contract document based on the contract type. Now you can make any required changes to the contract document based on the counterparty. Utilise various formatting options available in the Format tab to edit the contract document. Navigate to the Insert tab to add tables, header or footer. Open the Page Setup tab for layout and design-related settings. Access the Tools tab for document navigation and spell check. You can deselect existing clauses by clicking More, then the Clauses tab. For example, select the Purchase, Service or Licenses clause to clearly define the services that the contractor will provide. You can also deselect if the scope is too broad or restrictive for your specific needs. Additionally, you can select or deselect the alternative clause languages based on your contract requirements. In Zoho Contracts, 
The clauses with multiple languages are classified based on the comprehensiveness of the languages and whether they favour the service provider or recipient or remain neutral. You can select the clause language that best fits the specific contract. For example, the taxes and withholding clause in this MSA contract has three languages. They are Party A pays taxes. In this clause, Party A bears the tax responsibility. Parties pay their own taxes. Each party handles their respective tax obligations. Party B pays taxes. In this clause, Party B bears the tax responsibility. These languages cater to preferences favouring each party, the service provider or the service recipient. Choose the clause language that aligns best with your needs and preferences. You can also add additional clauses that are not in the library by simply typing them in the contract document. For example, I am adding the expense reimbursement clause to clarify eligible expenses, requiring documentation for transparency. Use the document navigation panel to navigate to each field and enter their values. To do that, click the Tools tab, then choose Fillable Fields under the document navigation panel. Click on the desired field in the field list to navigate to its position and enter the field's value in the pre-filled value field. To insert new document fields, position the cursor where you want the field, select the Fields tab, choose Fillable Fields under Dynamic Fields and select the field type in the Fillable Fields panel. Enter the field name in the Label field. and enter the value in the pre-filled value field. Repeat these steps for each field. Once you have entered values in all the document fields, click Draft Complete to finish authoring the contract document. You can also reopen a draft completed contract document to edit it. To edit a completed draft, go to the Contracts tab, open the contract in the Draft Complete state and click Reopen to edit. You can edit the document once the contract is moved to the draft status. After editing the document, click Draft Complete to finish. You are now ready to create and author contracts with ease. For any questions, you can reach us at support at zohocontracts.com. Thank you for your time.